Honorable Deputy Chairman, sir, I move the motion for consideration and passing the Water Prevention and, con and Control of Pollution Amendment Bill 2024 by this House. Aap yes, sir. Honorable Deputy Chairman, sir, today I have appeared in this House with an important amendment and want to introduce the consideration of this House. The bill proposed some significant changes in the Water Act 1974, which will not only give impetus to industries, but also makes progress towards environmental protection. In beginning, I want to highlight only the three important aspects of the bill. First, the present bill is streamlining the appointment of key officials of the State Board. By this present amendment under Section 4 of this Water Act, is proposed, to, is proposed to be amended to streamline and uniform the qualification and manner of appointment of chairperson of State Pollution Control Board. The amendment will provide for a certain mandatory qualifications, experience and procedure to ensure fair and transparent appointment of chairperson. The second major amendment is decriminalize the panel provisions. All panel provisions have been freed from imprisonment and will be replaced only with penalty except for violation under section 25 and 26. Violation relating of section 41 to 45A, 47 and 48 are proposed to dealt with the imposing financial penalty instead of prosecution in court. As we know earlier, this house passed the Janavishwas bill. In Janavishwas bill, the Air Prevention and Control Pollution Act 1981 has already been amended through the Jan Vishwas Bill 2023, which contains provisions similar to the proposed bill. Amendment of the Water Act and are also necessary to make in the line with the amendment made in the Air Act as the both the laws contain the similar provision. Because the water is a state subject, under Article 252 of the Constitution, it was not considered under the Jan Vishwas Bill 2023. The present proposal to amend the Water Act requires the resolution of two states, which is also attached with this bill. There is also an important aspect of this bill that the present bill streamlines the consent to establish an operate mechanism. The central government shall empower to issue notification exempting certain categories of industries from the requirement of obtaining prior consent before the establishment of any industrial unit. This will reduce the duplication of surveillance and also reduce the unnecessary burden of regulatory agencies. With this present bill, the central government shall be authorized to prescribe guidelines on the matters relating to grant, refusal, or conciliation of consent by a state board to establish or operate any industrial plant. This will universalize the procedure and fulfill the long-standing demand of industries with an all India presence. The present bill also protect the environment as well as pave the way for the ease of doing business also. Honorable Chairman, sir, may I request and seek a support to all members for the passing of this bill. The members will put their words and their views on the bill. If any clarification in the end, I will give my detailed reply. Thank you, sir.